What is up guys, David here from Overland Nomad and in this video I'm going to go over all the camper trailers, camper rigs, vans and topper campers from the Overland Expo Mountain West 2023. You can skip through the video using the chapters down below in case you're looking for a specific one. And before we begin, please check out my Mexico Overland film on my channel, I'll link it down below. This isn't Baja, this is a mountainous region of the northeast of Mexico with off-road adventures, camping and most importantly culture. You get to experience the real Mexico. Anyways, let's get to the video. Hey everyone, I'm Matt Reichel, owner at Boreas Campers. Right behind me we have our hybrid model, the EOS 12. We're going to do a quick walkthrough on it. Um, up front here you have a storage box and a luggage rack, so you've got a whole bunch of storage in here. Uh, we are prepared for the rainy day that is about to happen here. Uh, full size spare tire, two 20 pound propane tanks and also have a two inch receiver hitch up front to carry bikes. Uh, you come back here and we have our pull out refrigerator. So this is a Truma 96 liter dual zone so you can have a fridge and a freezer. Uh, what's really cool about this too is when this fridge is rolled in, uh, you can access it from inside the camper. So you don't have to come outside to get uh, food or drink. That rolls in. Back here we have our work table, power center, uh, and a couple speakers. Comes with the 270 awning as well, so you can enclose this space. Uh, three burner propane stove here. Uh, you have your sink with hot and cold water that runs off of a 50 gallon fresh water tank. Um, storage for pots and pans underneath there and uh, silverware in this little drawer here. Uh, up above you have your pantry. So this is accessible from the inside and the out so you can grab your pots and pans, chips, drinks, things like that. Um, and then as we come around to the back you have your entrance into the camper. So you can see this is a, this is a pop-up roof so we keep that center of gravity low while you're traveling or on the trail. And then you walk in here, on the left hand side you have a bathroom. So you have your toilet and your shower. And then on the right hand side is that pantry. You come in here, you can have a seat, um, big dining room table. This bench here folds out. So this table drops down, this bench pulls out, and you have sleeping for two more adults. Um, queen size bed up here with overhood hatch. You've got additional storage right here on your left. And then this is access to electrical and HVAC systems. Storage underneath each bench that I'm sitting on here. Um, and then, yeah, this one is equipped with kind of the, the, this really high end spec equipment. So we're running Victron electrical systems, we're running Battleborn batteries, the entire camper runs off the Garmin operating system, so if it has a circuit going to it, you can run it off your tablet or an app. Um, we're running Truma refrigerator, Truma AC unit, and the Truma Combi hot water and furnace system. So it is really high spec. And then in the chassis, we have uh, the Cruise Master suspension. So this we're running the XT version, which has airbags, auto level, onboard air, and tank. So lots of things going on in a pretty small camper here. I'll grab the tablet. <clears throat> so this is the tablet for the Garmin. So you can run all of your lights off of this. And then you have your fresh water, gray water, cabin temp battery, um, volts and amps for your solar. And then here is this runs all of your lighting. So you can dim any of the lights you want, turning the bathroom light on and off, rock lights, entry lights, anything in there. This is your HVAC, so your hot water system and your air conditioning. This is your water system, so hot water, uh, control, fresh and gray, and it also has your tank heaters uh, as well. This is the suspension page here, so we have a mode for water crossing, so it raises the camper to its full height. Normal is your day-to-day -day driving ride height, and then low rider, you know, if you're needing to sneak under a branch on the trail or get into a garage. Um, and then it also has auto level, so you can get to camp, you hit this button, 
and it just goes into auto level. So no wrestling around with levelers or anything like that. Um, and then you can adjust everything manually as well. Um, yeah, that's that's the. <clears throat> That's the uh, quick rundown here on the EOS 12. So make sure to check us out at BoreasCampers.com. And we're also on the YouTube and Instagram and all the social media options. So make sure to check, it up, check us out for any more info. Hello, I'm Dave Bates from Kimberly Campers USA. Um, today we're at Overland Expo Mountain West. And I'm just going to give you a short overview of the Kimberly Caravan. Um, it's a very unique trailer in that um, when it's fully up and out, um, it's it's a very large trailer inside, but when it's down, you see here probably in the video um, how small and compact it gets. We recently just had a guy that came through, he's six foot nine, and he's able to get up in here. Um, the inside, when it's up, it's uh, about seven feet long. The bed can fit, he laid down in the bed and, it, and he was able to fit totally in there. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is that when the trailer's fully up, it's, it's pretty large and, and, uh, and takes up a lot of space here. But when you're traveling down the road, it turns into this. So right here, with the aircon on top, it will fit in an eight-foot garage. But if it tucks right behind your vehicle, um, it's easy to you know, get access to all your awnings and everything like that. You can still have access on the other side into your fridge and other storage areas in there. So you don't have to pull the whole trailer up to get access to your food. And things. It's a great option, like an amazing feature where this small little package turns into this ginormous living space here. Um, pull out kitchen, there's different uh, configurations you can get for your stoves right here. We're using some partner uh, steel stoves, but you can get a, a Weber barbecue, other different things in here. Um, you have areas for your spice rack, uh, it's full sink, just a bunch of different storage options here in, in the outside. <clears throat> um, a couple things also, um, our chassis are all hot dip galvanized steel uh, uh, chassis. Um, we have uh, independent trailing air suspension with airbags so you can uh, level it from side to side, lift it up and down. We have electric over hydraulic disc brakes. So if you want to go through a water crossing, your brakes aren't going to fade if, um, like if you would have drum brakes. Uh, our whole body is a fiberglass body on the top. And then on the side walls here, the um, composite walls that are insulated to um, an R7, so it's about, a, about an inch thick, full cell foam there. Uh, walking around the back, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, unfortunately. But walking around back, you have the bed that slides out here. But huge storage in the back trunk here. You have the option, um, if you want to, um, several ways to be able to fill the, um, the trailer with water. You can suck water from a tank, like a, a bucket, um, you can suck it from a river or whatever and have hot um, shower outside here. We're heating it with, with a diesel hot water heater. Um, and then you have 50 gallons of water on board too that you can use. All of our cabinets, inside and out, are all lighted. So you, you know, you're not fiddling around trying to find stuff in the dark. Um, we'll go around front a little bit here. And then we'll step inside here in a second. Around front you have a big, big storage box here. Two 48 volt uh, batteries going here with 10 kilowatt hours of lithium um, inside. That's with the 2024 model. Um, the compressor does uh, it has moved in 2024 to go in the back, but you can air up your tires with it and also use it uh, for your airbag. Um, we have extended drawbar up front here too, um, with an uh, um, off-road coupler by McHitch. They're out of Australia. Uh, like I said, with electric off I draw brakes and you can, you can lock your brakes here. You can just press this button, turn that knob and that will lock the brakes. A lot of people ask, especially Jeep and uh, Toyota owners, what is the weight? That's like the number one question. So the weight on this guy, as it sits right here, um, it has air conditioning and all this other stuff on it is about 3,500 pounds. The GVWR is 5,500 pounds. So that's uh, your Toyota, put some airbags in your rear end and also Jeep guys too. That'll make it uh, towable for you. Um, coming up inside here, <clears throat> we have a um, pretty big area. Um, shooting back over this way, I'll walk over here. You have full queen size bed, an area to sit three people here, and also another area here to sit another person. If you want a table, 
this slides out and you have a giant table sitting here to eat breakfast and, and do the things that you need to do here. Work, you know, work on your laptop or whatever. Um, if you have kids, which is nice, is uh, this um, bench here can change into a bunk bed. Um, this, this is an older model, so it's a 2023 model. There's a couple changes if you do get the new 2024 model. The sink is no longer here. We've moved the sink over to where that stove is and we move the stove to where the sink is. It makes a little bit more sense because um, as you I'll move around this area here, this is your bathroom area. What's super slick here is you have your toilet um, and you, there is a curtain that it goes up. But when you want to use a shower, you lift this up, you swing the toilet out of the way, you put the uh, curtain up and you have a full size shower that you can use here. Um, super nice option. Well, it's not even an option, it's just standard in all of our trailers. Gobs of storage underneath here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but the only wood on our trailers are in these, um, just the face of these um, um, cabinets here. Everything else that we have, all of our cabinetry is made out of aluminum. Giant 130 liter um, fridge combination here, just to put all your food in there. You can option for a microwave, a um, bunch of different options inside here. Um, induction cooktop, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. What's nice too is with our systems, you can run the air con off of the batteries if you want to. You can get about five to six hours of use off that. Um, we, have, we do have solar on top. There's 480 watts of solar on top. You can charge, um, well, help charge the batteries to that. Of course, that won't replenish everything the air con's sucking out. That air con will pull about 100 amps out of the batteries. Um, other than that, um, you have a bunch of different leather colors you can choose. There's 27 different leather colors you can choose from, a bunch of different flooring options, other color options that you want. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to get a hold of us. It's at KimberlyCampersUSA.com um, or through Facebook at KimberlyCampersUSA. We're on Instagram also, all those you know, different outlets you can get a hold of us. We're located in Ohio. We do have a, um, a dealership in Utah and in uh, Denver, Colorado. So I'm with Colorado RV Center here. This is the 2024 Explore X195. This is a 26 foot trailer, 5,500 pound empty weight on it, 9,800 pound gross weight. So starting up here, we've got our optional outside kitchen on it. So this is a slide out outside kitchen, doesn't take up the entire pass through storage, still lays me 51 inches of pass through storage right here. Um, Italian entry door right here. We've got our little giant steps that'll climb up in there or the factory steps right there. Walking back here, you've got Cruise Master suspension, uh, Maxxis Razor tires on it. That's an air suspension on it. So you just push a key fob and it lifts up or lowers down. About 12 inches of travel, about eight inches of ride, ride height uh, up and down. It's a 270 degree OVS awning. So Overland Vehicle Systems, you're probably familiar with them. So swings up forward and swings all the way around the back of it there. Looking on the side of the trailer, it's a fully composite sidewall. So no studs in the wall because those will allow cold or hot transfer through there. So it's a fully composite sidewall, three inch thick wall with high density block foam insulation closed cell. Uh, so get you down to minus 40 or 120 degrees. A dual pane window with a gas chamber in between the panes. And notice the windows come out, big, big windows. And going inside the trailer, you'll see how there's nice big windows on the other side, which will allow a great cross breeze through there. It's a fully perimeter box steel frame. So you'll notice down here, it's, a, it's box steel frame all the way around and the side walls are mounted to that box. So on your typical trailer, what you'll get is the frame and then an outrigger and then the side walls mounted to that outrigger. That allows torque and deflection and flexing of that, which you know is affecting all your cabinetry and everything inside. So this one, nope, that wall is mounted directly to that steel frame. Right here, you've got storage on the back and then a spare tire on the back as well with molly panels on either side. High lift jack mount down below. So down here is gonna be where you'll mount a high lift jack to it. Also recovery hooks, if for some reason you got that deep in the woods. I start, I can sit my desk. Up on this side, right here's our air compartment, so this is where the fun happens. So grabbing this key fob, I can push a button and, oh, I went to the wrong side, sorry. So now to notice that thing raises the push of a button or by pushing a button, I can actually lower it as well. 
onboard air compressor with an onboard air holding tank. And that's all Cruise Master air in there, designed and tested in Australia. And then over here is the other side to my pass-through storage, which I've got kind of full right now, but you can still kind of see that my outdoor kitchen does not take up the whole pass-through storage. Up front, more storage right here. This one goes about halfway back there, and then there's propane on the other side of that. On the tongue, I've actually got a parking brake that goes to the disc brakes. This unit does have disc brakes on it, as well as a Cruise Master fully articulating hitch. Yeah. Up on the front, I've got cutouts for the Max Tracks, as well as uh, mounting holes for Rotopax. So Rotopax makes that big, uh, what is it, a three or five gallon container that'll actually mount on the front of that with ease. This seven foot tongue also really pushes the axles back a little bit more, which makes it tow incredibly well. So this one is definitely a half ton towable trailer. You wanna step inside? Come on in. You know, and that's true, like, um, all right, come on in, come on in. So I've got the bed popped up right now to show off the lithium battery bank. As we step inside, that's the first thing you notice. So Xpion 360 batteries, three of those, 1,080 amp hours of battery, 2,000 watt inverter back there, and then you'll notice your three solar charge controllers. So I have 11 solar panels on the roof of this, 1,240 watts of solar on the roof uh, on three separate stages. So. If something were to happen and one of your stages went down, so to speak, I still have two other stages to charge it so the whole thing doesn't go down. It's a walk around full size bed, wardrobes on either side, and then storage above the bed as well. In the kitchen, you've got this massive sink with a bunch of attachments. Notice that cutting board in there, but a huge, huge sink uh, that is supplied by my 60 gallon fresh water tank. Induction cooktop over here. And then my cabinetry, lots and lots of drawers in here. And this is all real wood cabinetry in here as well. And you can notice it's real wood because they leave the ends of it exposed <laughs> to show you the actual wood panels in there. Just to show that it's not that wrapped wood that a lot of cheaper guys are going to. Big, big U dinette. This table drops straight down and has a filler cushion to make this into a bed as well. But you can accommodate a, whole, a family of four in this very, very easily. I already mentioned the induction cooktop. Isotherm refrigerator, it's a marine refrigerator. Freezer on the bottom, 12 volt fridge and freezer. 12 volt Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner, so that'll run off the battery very easily. And then coming in the bathroom, I have my dry flush Lavio toilet. Um, so you just go into a bag because black water doesn't really flow at minus 40 degrees, which this trailer is rated to. So that toilet alleviates the need for a black tank. And then you have a shower with a teak wood floor and a seat in there. And then a max fan as well above that. Big vessel sink, big mirror, lots of storage everywhere in this trailer. So we're Colorado RV Center at coloradorvcenter.com in South Fork, Colorado. We're the dealer for the Explorers here in Colorado. And um, I also have the Explorer 145 and the 195. Hey, I'm Grant Haugen with Tax Outdoors, and we're here at Overland Mountain West Expo, and we're going to walk through the Taxa Cricket. So the Cricket was our first product. Uh, the inception of it was in 2008 when our founder, Garrett Finney, wanted to build a trailer that was lightweight to be towed by a four-cylinder car, garageable, and would accommodate a family of four. So he set out on a mission to create a product that met all of those uh, requirements so that he could go camping with his family. That's how it all started. The Cricket was his inception, so he built a cardboard mock-up in the garage, then he built his first trailer, he went out and he started camping in it. People started asking, where can I buy one? I love it, I want one, can you build one for me? Um, so the Cricket was our very first model. It comes in at 1,800 pounds for the standard product. It's seven foot tall, so it fits in a standard size garage, and it sleeps a family of four, two adults and two kids. So the entire construction, the way that we keep it so lightweight, is that it's all aluminum from the chassis up. We have closed cell foam, uh, high density two pound foam insulation between the aluminum to give you a nice insulation factor. We have a wide door here that allows a lot of airflow, natural light, and also easy in and out uh, access. Inside, this is a pop tent trailer. It's very easy to pop and close. Uh, most tent trailers take a lot of work. You got adjustments and such. This, you just pull this bar to close it, 
and then there's a latch on each side that you clip. And when you're ready to go, you unlatch these, you unlatch these, one on each side, and then all you do is push on this handle. It almost self-deploys. So you can literally be camping within five minutes of arriving at the campsite. Drop your jacks, pop the top. Inside, um, we use all premium quality materials to build the product. Garrett Finney, our founder, he worked for NASA before coming before developing Taxa. He was an architect and he actually designed the human habitat on the International Space Station. So he was used to designing small spaces for people to, to live and function. And he was also using to a very uh, used to using a very high build standard, of course, at NASA when you're building spacecraft. So all the products we use are premium quality products. We have Baltic birch for all of our countertops, cabinetry, and seat bases. All this Baltic birch is marine grade, so it will not delaminate. So if you get it wet, it's not an issue. We have a Dometic sink with hot and cold water. It's an instant tankless water heater. Double burner propane stove. And then we take a very unique approach with storage. We want storage to be simple, easy to use for our customers, durable, and something that's not a hassle. So we use milk crates. These milk crate storage, it's very nice because at the beginning of your trip, we all know the two worst parts of a trip, loading and unloading. Um, and so when you're loading, you can take these up to the house, fill them up, take them down to the trailer, go camping. My favorite part is when you load this up, you load this as the s'mores drawer. So you get all your s'mores and hot dog stuff in here, take it out, set it next to the campfire, operate right out of it when you're sitting there, and then take it and throw it back in. Then you're not making multiple trips and carrying stuff back and forth. We use milk crate storage in all of our products for that reason. They're also incredibly easy to find, very inexpensive to replace. Back here, we have our settee uh, dining area. This table removes and drops down to turn into a bed for two. This is two adults can sleep here. And then we have cots that hold up to 130 pounds each. These cots fold down from the ceiling, just like this. And then the kids climb on up here. It's a great spot for them to sleep and they love it because it's kind of like the astronaut cots they sleep in in the space station inspired by that. As we move to this side, um, you can see that we have this big open window here. There's a screen and a blackout shade on all the windows. Really lets in a lot of natural light. And I love the fact that you've got this big door in the back that opens up. So when you're laying here in bed and it's a crisp, cool morning, you want to get a little fresh air. Maybe you don't feel like getting out of bed yet. All you got to do is reach back here, pop this hatch open. You got nice airflow coming through. The um, refrigerator is a Dometic 12 volt plug in refrigerator. This is where it sits when you're going down the road or when you want to keep it inside. It plugs in right here. Now, when you get to your campsite, we know that the, the taxa customer is a, you want to spend time outdoors. That's why you're buying a taxa. So it's not as much about being in here as it is about being outside. So we give you a 12 volt plug on the outside of the unit so that you can take this Dometic cooler out, plug it in outside, and you don't have to come inside every time you want to drink or food. Also over here, the Truma has a furnace built in. These are your furnace ports here. Um, so it really does keep it toasty in here in the winter. And there is an option for an air conditioner as well that mounts in this window back here. And the final thing I'll point out is that the working on a taxa, or if you have an issue in the field with an electrical component, super easy to work on and diagnose. We give you barrel fuses for all the devices right underneath the switch that it corresponds to. So it's very easy. You don't have to dig around looking for a fuse block. We try and keep it very simple, very easy to use. Um, and then there's a toilet, a porta potty, Dometic. It's in, in the box currently here at the show, um, but it stores right here. And then you would just pull that out, put it behind the trailer, Put it inside the outside shower tent that comes with the unit and you have an outhouse. That's the Cricut. Um, again, garageable, sleeps a family of four, super lightweight, incredibly durable and quality product. Visit us at taxoutdoors.com. We're also on Facebook at Tax Outdoors, Instagram and YouTube, or visit one of our local dealers. Hey, I'm Grant Haugen with Tax Outdoors and today we're here at Overland Mountain West. Uh, expo and we're in the taxa display and we're going to be taking you through the woolly bear in this video the woolly bear is our smallest product 
Um, it is a, a 10 foot trailer, 10 foot change. Um, and it only weighs about 1,300 pounds. So staying true to our DNA here at Taxa, we build incredibly lightweight, garageable trailers um, that are easy to use and built with quality materials and components. So the Wooly Bear, we look at this as a gear trailer with the option of a rooftop tent so that you can sleep in it. So first of all, I'll point out we have a 23-0 awning. Um, this is an option. That's a bat wing awning, 180 degrees, gives you lots of coverage. Follow me on in, we'll take a look at some of the features of the Wooly Bear. Inside here we've got big heavy duty fenders that give you a nice spot to be able to sit up here, strap gear down, that's why we give you all these different holes and access points so that you can strap generators, propane tanks, extra you know, NATO cans, whatever you can imagine bringing with you. And then we give you lots of storage inside here. So all these latch latches lock, this drops down, and this becomes a work area. And you have an option, we don't have it here currently, but an, uh, a standard propane stove that you would then pull out and set up here. There's also a full power bank inside here with USB ports, 12 volt plugs, as well as light switches for the unit. There's lights all the way throughout. We use that same Baltic Birch. Um, Baltic Birch is three times lighter than OSB and it's uh, three times stronger. So it stays true to our DNA again, being lightweight and durable. Um, it's also marine grade, so if you're out in the elements and this gets wet, you don't have to worry about it delaminating. Um, we use all aluminum, it's all aircraft grade aluminum components, so it keeps it super lightweight. The chassis, by the way, are steel powder coated, um, so they're very durable. One of my favorite little features here is we have a 12 volt refrigerator drawer with a removable Dometic cooler. So inside here, you're able to keep all your beverages cool. You can also make this a freezer and crank it all the way down. It plugs in just inside. You can leave it here or you can take it out with you. As we work our way around, um, the solar panel, we include these with the units. Um, so this is a ZAMP, uh, I believe 170 solar panel. Keeps you charged when you're off grid. And then this whole area on top of the Wooly Bear really allows you to, to store additional goods. So there's some Thule bars that mount inside there. You can put any Thule accessory on them. Um, and then our idea is that these risers, these have three different positions. So you can raise them or lower them depending on your use. Um, we can preset those from the factory or the dealer. And you can fit kayaks, paddle boards, any other gear you can imagine up here in this pocket. Strap it down. We give you holes all over this top panel so that you can use bungees and ratchet straps wherever you'd like. Or just fill it with all your other camping gear. The Wooly Bear also has a hitch. Um, so there's a receiver here. So you could put a bike rack um, or any other type of hitch accessory on there. And then on the left driver's side, you should watch that. We have full-size spare tire mounted here. These are all all-terrain tires. Um, the product we're looking at right now is actually our Overland Edition. So there's a couple of fundamental changes to that. One is that we do all-terrain tires with larger wheels. Two is we do independent timberin suspension with an axleless design that has a four-inch lift. And then the third is we have a lock and roll hitch on the front, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, so with that, there's also a large storage area right here that you can really use for anything. So there's a drain inside there. I've used it for a cooler before, an open cooler. Just dump a bunch of ice in there, it drains, and you can grab beverages or for storing goods um, on your way out to your camping trip. The last storage area here is a big storage area on the driver's side. This is where you can keep your solar panel when you're not using it. Uh, this is the ladder for the tent up top. Um, propane tanks, anything you can imagine you can store here in this lockable container. And then we talked a little bit about it. This is the rooftop tent. So this is a 23-0 rooftop tent. It's an option. Um, you can also do the Thule Tapui uh, three-person. Um, this rooftop tent really works well. It's a clamshell. It's easy to open um, and uh, it gives you the ability to sleep two to three additional people up top. Go ahead and follow me up front. 
So last thing I wanted to point out is this is that lock and roll hitch that I talked about. So basically the way this works is there's a secondary attachment that goes on here that hooks and goes to your receiver hitch on the vehicle. It's 200 and almost 270 articulating left to right, over 270 top to bottom, and then on the articulating hitch itself, it rotates 360 degrees. So what that does for you is it allows the trailer to move completely independently behind your vehicle so that when you're off-roading, you're rock crawling, you're coming down a steep embankment into a riverbed, you're not going to bind up on the ball hitch. This gives you a lot more flexibility as to what you can do off-road um, with your taxi. The propane tank would mount right here on the front and then you've got a um, place to, to tie down any additional accessories you need. Some folks will actually put a generator up here, any number of things. And then you have a spot for up to two batteries. So that was the Woolly Bear Overland Edition. Again, my name is Grant Haugen with Tax Outdoors. You can visit us at taxoutdoors.com or Tax Outdoors on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, or come into one of our local dealers in your area uh, to visit and take a look at the product. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Grant Haugen with Tax Outdoors, and we're here at the Overland Mountain West Expo in Colorado. And excited to take you through the Mantis today. This is the brand new 2023 Mantis 5.2. Um, we've made some really exciting changes to this product from the 4.1 on last year. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the Mantis and, and take a look. So this is our largest product. Um, it's a 19 foot trailer uh, overall. It stays 7 foot tall so you can still fit it in a standard size garage. We make them all aluminum, uh, so you've got very, very lightweight uh, overall. It's a standard, the standard product is only 3,100 pounds. The Overland product that we're looking at here is 3,500 pounds. But it sleeps uh, up to four adults inside, and then you have the ability to put a rooftop tent on this to add an additional three adults. So really, you can sleep up to seven. Um, and it has all the comforts of home um, and all the ability to be able to enjoy the outdoors uh, while you are still comfortable inside your mantis. So we'll start here on the outside. Um, we make all of the Taxa product from aircraft grade aluminum, two pound block foam uh, insulation. Uh, it's very high quality. Um, this is the titanium color, uh, which is available on the Overlands. The standard is in white. We have throughout European windows that are double paned with a blackout shade and a screen on all of them, and they all open. These big ones on the side are nice because as you can see, they almost open 90 degrees. So you have a nice pass through to your campsite and also really nice natural light and airflow. So go ahead and follow me inside and we'll take a look. So inside here, um, we've got a lot of headroom. Again, the, the Taxa product, uh, we make it very easy to deploy the tents. Um, there's really no assembly required. So when I go to close this, very simply just pulling down on it, and it's gonna come to a full close for us. And at that point, there's these latches, one on each side that you get clipped, and then you're done. When you're ready to go camping, you come in here and you pop these two latches off, one here and one there, and then all you do is give it a little push. The pneumatic assist will take over, and you're camping. Super easy. As you enter, all of your light switches are right here, um, so easy access. There's a corresponding fuse for each component, so you don't have to go digging around. If a light stops working, it's easy to find right there. And there's simp simple barrel fuses, so they're available at any hardware store or electrical store. Nice storage area here, hang your keys, store your wallet, anything else. There's a screen that goes on this doorway as well, Velcro all the way around with a zipper in the middle so that you can keep the bugs out. Go ahead and follow me inside. We've got in here, all of our cabinetry, just like our other product, is all Baltic birch, marine grade. So it's three times lighter and stronger than OSV, which is what other manufacturers use. We use milk crate storage for all of our products. Milk crate storage is really nice because it allows you to take them out. Two worst parts of a camping trip, right? Loading and unloading. So you can take them up, put them on the kitchen floor, lay them all out, load them right there before your trip. Then when you get to the campsite, I like loading one of these top drawers with all the s'mores goods and all the fire cooking goods. So take it out, put it right next to the campfire, cook s'mores out of it, and then take it right back into the trailer and store it. It's very, very easy to use. They're also really inexpensive and very easy to find if you need to replace one. You actually have a total of six of these, three here on this side, 
and then three down here on this side. So lots of storage for clothes, food, goods. We have a large, very large Rubbermaid trash can in here that is removable. The idea is that you can take this out, set it next to your trailer, um, and use it as your trash can inside your campsite. You don't have to come inside every time. We use a commercially available Rubbermaid product, um, so you can find this at most uh, hardware stores, Walmart, things like that. So again, if you needed to replace it, very easy to find and inexpensive to replace. Try to stay away from special parts of Texas. And then as we move back, we have an Iceco 12 volt cooler. Um, today we're using the Iceco product. I uh, really like these because you can actually open it from this side so you can get beverages from inside the trailer. But if we were outside and we needed to grab a beverage, it opens the other way. And then if we're at the house and we needed to load everything up, the whole top comes off. Makes it real easy to load. This plugs in inside here and this is its mounting spot for when you're going down the road um, or if you wanted to keep it inside the trailer. However, just like the Cricut, there's a plug in on the outside of the trailer so you can take this outside and have it sitting right next to your trailer so you can access beverages from inside your campsite, not have to go inside your trailer. Back here, this bed that I'm sitting on, very large bed, um, it's for two adults. There's a table underneath here, this would pop up and convert into a dining area. The large back hatch here, really nice, because in the morning, like the Cricut, um, our other model, when you wake up in the morning, you can just simply reach over, grab the latch, and pop this guy open, and you get lots of not natural airflow. You can hear the birds chirping, and really just enjoy your morning in your campsite without ever having to get out of bed. Moving left to the driver's side, um, we have a air conditioner that comes standard on the Mantis. It is on a slider. And the reason we do this is because an air conditioner like this needs to be mounted with 75% of it hanging outside of the trailer in order to function properly. But what that does is it creates a lot of excess drag. You got a big block hanging out outside the trailer while you're going 70 down the freeway. So we, Garrett, our designer, set this up so that it's on sliders. You release these barrel bolts, there's a hatch on the outside you would open, and then you would push it, and the hatch is closed currently, but you would push it the other six inches, lock the dead bolts, and go ahead and turn it on. Two things it does, one is it reduces drag when it's in, like we said, the other is when you deploy it, you have more counter space. As we move here, we have a Dometic double burner propane stove, a hot cold water sink, and these are, the hot water is fed by an instant hot water heater. It's tankless, it's the Truma system. Um, and the Truma system also does your furnace, your heating for the unit. So your controller is right here. Um, when you power that up, you can control both heat and water heat. And then the furnace ports out right here. Keeps it real nice and toasty in the winter time if you need it. And then the air conditioner really works well, keeps it nice and cool in here in the summertime. Lots of storage up top, again, all Baltic birch. We use a, a type of starboard material for our, uh, our cabinetry uh, doors so that it's very durable. As we move to this side, this front bench area is really nice because you've got seating here for four people. You've got a lagoon desk table that you can adjust and get to the spot that you like. And then we give you this nice ottoman here that you can use as an additional seat. You can pull it out and use it actually as an ottoman if you'd like. But what we did, and this is new to 2023, we used to have a permanently fixed cassette toilet here. And our customers were saying that, you know, we'd like to be able to take the toilet out and the head and remove it from the trailer so we're not using it where we're cooking and sleeping. So we did that. In the new 5.2 2023, inside this ottoman is your porta potty. It's on a plastic base with the intention of you being able to take it outside, put it on the dirt somewhere, um, whether it's behind a tree, behind the trailer, or inside your outdoor shower tent, the freestanding shower tent that you could use as an outhouse. So that removes. When you come back in, you could simply use this as an ottoman empty. And then you do have an outside shower, like I mentioned, um, that's on the driver's side of the trailer. However, inside the new Mantis 5.2, we have this fold down shower pan that allows you to snap in a shower curtain. There's snaps down here, and then there's carabiners up top here. 
You attach your shower curtain. It's wider at the top, so you've got elbow room. Narrower at the bottom, snaps inside so you don't lose any water out onto the floor. And then there's a drain right here in the corner that drains out to a channel there and goes down to your gray water tank. So hot and cold water right here, very convenient, nice and large, and then very versatile because you can just tuck it away when you're done. So we try not to waste any space at Taxa. Everything has dual or triple uses. Um, that's one of our philosophies. You know, our founder Garrett, being that he was with NASA and designed the human habitat on the space station, he's used to designing small spaces for people to operate and live, and he's used to creating things that have two or three different uses and purposes. So as we move forward, speaking of that, this front bench area has a couple exciting hidden features. So right now it's set up as the bench. Let's say you had some mountain bikes, scooter, dirt bike, whatever you wanted to bring with you. The door is wide enough to get most of those through. You can then take this bench, flip it up and clip it. And now you have kind of a toy hauler area. You can roll your mountain bikes right in here. You've got all kinds of holes around that you can then attach ratchet straps and bungees to to tie in your gear. Once you get to your campsite and you're fully unloaded, if everybody has been hanging out and had dinner and ready to go off to bed, you now can deploy your bunk beds. This just straps up like so. There's a strap on each side. Top bunk there holds up to 185 pounds. Bottom bunk, um, 185 plus. And you have a net to keep the kids in bed um, from falling out of the top bunk. It even has a little pocket here they can put their stuffed animals or their iPad in or something like that. The, um, as we kind of work through here, um, the other thing I'd point out is that all of our flooring, we use a nickel pattern flooring. It's a polyurethane type. So it's very, very durable, good grip. Um, and again, very, very durable. So you can come in here with muddy shoes at the end of your hiking trip, not worry about it, kick them off and fall into bed. And this simply wipes out, super easy to take care of. Thanks so much for joining us for a walk through the Mantis. Uh, my name is Grant Haugen again with Tax Outdoors. Be sure to visit us at taxoutdoors.com or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube at Tax Outdoors or visit one of our local dealers near you to take a look. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey everyone, this is Sean with Tribe Trailers. I'm gonna show you around the Expedition 500 real quick. Uh, so the Expedition 500 is a really cool trailer that we're coming out with. It's a hard-sided lift trailer. Um, what we do is we have a composite inside with two fiberglass wedge outside panels, which makes it incredibly light, but have a really high R rating. So the cool thing about that is you can go in winter, you can go in summer, and you're gonna stay either cool in there or hot in there. It helps that we also have a diesel heater on the inside and AC. Um, on the outside, as you guys can see, we have a pass-through that goes into the inside kitchen area. That way you can put your pots and pans, go up, grab them on the inside, grab them on the outside. Luckily, we have a kitchen on the inside, but we also have a kitchen on the outside. So you have a ton of storage right here. You have a slide out for your burner and your sink. The final version of this is gonna come with our 10,000 BTU stainless steel burners. On this side, you can see we have a space for the fridge unit that you have. Uh, you can either put a fridge here, a cooler, there's plugs for the fridge. And then uh, to protect you, which was really nice yesterday when it was raining, is this electric awning. We make our way to the front. This is where kind of all the magic happens. We have on-demand hot water, which is really nice. Right now we have a hot tap in there, but it will come stock with a full-size hot water heater. Uh, two pro propane tank holders, and then a diesel holder for your diesel heater. On the front side, you have two oil pressure, but this is working for PSI gauges for the air ride uh, suspension. And that's right, we have air ride independent suspension. So the trailer underneath has double wrap galvanized hot dip steel A, um, a arms. And then inside of that, we have our um, airbag systems that are working independently from each other. So you can level the trailer or you can raise it all the way up for the trails, bring it all the way down when you're towing. Um, you have your body lift, which brings the whole body of the trailer down over itself. Once you pull that down and you bring down the air ride suspension, you're looking at just under seven feet. And the whole length of this trailer is underneath, under 17 feet as well, so it is garageable. You have your left and right side airbag, you can control independently, your front leg there, which is an electronic jack, and then your on-road off compressor, which is really nice. It works for those airbags, but you can also tap into that and air up your, your car or the trailer's tires. 
over on this side. What we're using is two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries, AGM. You can always upgrade those to lithium. Everything's compatible with it and ready to go. You have your inverter right here, as well as your solar charger. Solar charger works great because we have 400 watts of solar up above this guy. As we work our way over here, you can see that we have some molly panels, a ton of storage. So half of this trailer is dedicated just for storage underneath. Great for firewood, for your tools, whatever else you want to put down there. Um, as we work our way back here, you can see we have some tracks that are from trailer get stuck. You can put them down, get yourself out. You can see how we mount those right there. Uh, more molly and a really sleek, strong design. As we work our way back to the back of the trailer, something that's really cool is this big molly panel. You can put your, um, your shovel or your axe. You also have a little ladder there to flip down to get up to be able to serviceable. Name of the game for us is storage and serviceability. So you can get through the trailer, service everything, but you also have a ton of storage. Um, would you like to go on the inside? Cool. So as we make our way inside the trailer, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here as well. So. You have a full wet bath, so you have your toilet, there's also a shower and a little sink unit here. You have your indoor kitchen, so that's right, you have both outdoor and indoor kitchen. You have your gauges and your switches, outdoor lights, indoor lights, pump switches, your AC switch. We have a standby switch right here, which is really nice that we have that open so you can wire whatever you'd like into there, and then your vent switch up above. The seating area is spacious, there's a lot of room, you have your table that you can flip up, sit down, eat at, but what's really nice is you can flip these guys up put the table down here, use the cushions, and you have another bed. So you have your bed up here, you have another smaller bed that you can use down here, and an absolute ton of overhead storage. It's really nice, kind of like an airplane style, you can lift it up, you can keep whatever you need in there, bring it down, a ton of lighting in here. Open this up, you can get some natural light. You can also open that and pass through. Uh, everything you can think of has basically been done with this trailer, and the nice part about Tribe Trailers is everything you see comes included with it. 55,000 MSRP, that's the price. Uh, you get everything you see, nothing you don't. We're not gonna make you do any add-ons, buy any extra stuff, nothing like that. If you wanna find us, you can find us at tribetrailers.com or you can email us, email us at support at tribetrailers.com. This is a Lance Enduro and one feature I loved about it was the kitchen space in the rear with indoor access to the fridge. Personally, I like cooking outside the camper where I can be outdoors. This simple design trailer has a two-person bed, dinette, a wet bath, and the outdoor kitchen area with the storage up front, all with a dry weight of 3,500 pounds. These are Mammoth Overland trailers based out of Washington State, and they are also in the aircraft manufacturing industry. The Mammoth cabin is crafted using double-walled aerospace grade aluminum sheeting and high-density foam insulation. The cabin is secured to a high-strength box steel frame. This combination creates a strong, rugged, and lightweight trailer weighing in at only 1,650 pounds. It has 19 inches of ground clearance, 31 BFGs, and timber and 3,500 HD independent suspension. The interior comfortably accommodates four adults and comes with exterior lockable storage. The base price starts at This one right here is a Patriot Campers out of Australia. I tried to get a walkthrough with them, but no luck, they were pretty busy. I know they do have a Gen 1 with four models and their current Gen 2 with three trailer models. And they even have toy haulers. If you're interested, you can see a lot more videos on them on YouTube. I know they're pretty popular.
meeting areas now. So I'm really excited. So my name is Levi with Zion Off Road. Um, we have a fully modular trailer. So the whole idea around our company is that you can start with a more affordable base model. Um, and you can go out camping, find out what you need and what you like, and then just accessorize your trailer over time. So um, even our fenders, our steps, even the suspension. Um, if we come over onto this trailer here, we have multiple different mounting locations. So we have our custom aluminum extrusion that the bolts sit facing outwards, you can see right here. And um, so all of your accessories can be moved around, as well as holes in the frame, so you can mount bigger fender, rear step, front step, other accessories like that. Um, we have mounting locations, including our side accessory system, which is this. You move these plates up and down. Again, fully modular, right? Customize your trailer however you want. Do propane tank here, water above it, or gas cans on the passenger side. Well, however you want to customize your trailer, you can do that. Um, and you can do it all over time, too, so you don't have to you know, pay for everything up front. You can go camping, find out, like I said, find out what you need, what you like, and just accessorize accordingly. So. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch of different accessories available, as well as our whole front accessory system. Like I said, our side accessory system, we have all of our crossbars. It's the same principle, just mix and match and customize however you'd like. Um, you can find us at zionoffroad.com or you can email us at sales at zionoffroad.com and be happy to you know, answer any questions you may have. It comes with an articulating hitch. It's all aluminum. It's called a Transformer Dirty X model. Under 1,800 pounds with all our options. We can get it underneath 1,400 pounds. Fridge, freezer, cooler. Each pullout comes with a 12-volt plug, um, 500-pound drawer guides, bike rack option, 200-pound storage. We have a two- to three-person tent option, or you can store 400 pounds up on top of the roof rack. It's designed 78 inches high. So you can back this into any car garage that a car will go into. Six inch memory foam mattress, six foot six to six foot 10 sleeping area, cabin, have 12 volt AC and heater, as well as a max air fan, torsion axles, or Timberon independent suspension axle, 11 gauge walk on fenders, 10 inch disc brakes, or drum brakes, excuse me. As well as back here, all powder coated aluminum. Um, each pullout has obviously the 12 plug, 500 pound drawer guides. This all just slides together. 30 amp solar power option. 200 watt solar panels. We sold out. Like I said, grab one to go if y'all want. I just thought it was right half, dude. We have a 17 inch blackstone flat top grill. I'm actually grilling some sausage right now. All three of 21 two. gallon fresh tank on demand hot oh. water heater as well we have a shower option where it folds out three foot by three foot shower um, we can you can reach us at uh, top line RV trailer sales my email is west-sales at rd Dash trailers.com. No more spot, like um, feel free to reach out if you have any That's questions. Awesome. I'm Corey with Off Your Trailers, and this is the Ando 3.0. So it is an all metal teardrop trailer. We have the kitchen in the back. Inside, you have a queen size bed, as well as plenty of storage. Uh, it's all built on a four inch C channel steel frame. All the construction from the frame up is aluminum, so there's no wood, there's no composites. Nothing's gonna rot, nothing's gonna go bad on you. Um, up front, we have, this is an optional fridge. Um, so the trailer itself is 2,200 pounds dry. Your tongue weight is 300 pounds. Uh, your max GVWR is 3,500, so you got plenty of room for gear and storage. Uh, if you wanna come around back, I'll show you the kitchen. So back here, you got your standard fridge. This is your Dometic cooktop. So you got a dual burner stove here. And then, some good pots and pan storage down here. On this side, you're gonna have your water tank. So it comes standard with 14 gallons of water. You can get a secondary 19 gallon water tank underneath. You have your hot and cold water sink. And then plenty of storage. So the other thing you're So if you wanna learn more about the Pando 3.0, you can go to offertrailers.com. 
This is a 2023 Australian off-road Odyssey. The 100% Aussie built AOR Odyssey weighs at 3,100 pounds dry. This off-road hybrid caravan boasts a proprietary dual shock trailing arm suspension, is 100% dust proof, and can be towed by most light and mid-sized vehicles. The price on their website is 68,700. This is a Lobo Adventure trailer. Specs on their base trailer includes 12 by 5 by 5 trailing arm independent suspension, 22 gallon water storage, water pump, pull out kitchen, dual burner, 18,000 BTU stove, rear tire swing out dual 100 amp deep cycle batteries, solar short towing generator charging capabilities, 2000 watt co power by Dometic Inverter. All Lobo Adventure trailers are invited back for a complimentary year, yearly maintenance and accessory upgrade experience. Pricing starting at $24,000 and they're based out of California. This is the Anti Shanty Trailers. This company was actually one of my favorites I saw at the expo because of its unique design. I really love this A frame trailer that gives so much headroom. Axle suspension, aluminum exo endoskeleton steel spine technology, removable tongue, separate wet storage, four aluminum jacks, and one piece panels are standard features on all models. Pricing starts at $37,900 and goes all the way to $73,900. They also have a rooftop tent and a pretty cool wedge style camper similar to the Go Fast Camper made in the USA. Timberleaf out of Colorado with their beautiful handcrafted teardrop trailers. They have multiple models that vary in size and amenities starting at 8750 all the way to their larger trailer at 24,150. Turtleback Trailers, which is under new ownership based out of Tennessee. They have two models, the Expedition and Getaway Trailer, designed and crafted in the USA and is also veteran owned. This is the Expedition trailer starting at $47,000. It has an all aluminum construction, X ride independent A arm suspension, 36 gallon water tank, Red Arc power management system, dual 115 amp hour AGM batteries, and many more accessories. This is Lightships L1 full electric trailer. This trailer in particular was the most unique trailer here. Looking out of a futuristic movie, the L1 is a hyper efficient design that is three times more aerodynamic than a traditional travel trailer for a longer range and greater efficiency, which means a 300 mile range electric vehicle used to tow it remains 300 mile range and a 25 mile per gallon gas truck remains a 25 mile per gallon gas truck. An electric powertrain with up to 80 kilowatts of onboard battery capacity allows the trailer to propel itself and achieve near zero range or efficiency loss for the tow vehicle. 
a no compromise battery system that can provide a week of off grid power without charging. Coupled with up to 3 kilowatts of solar power, the RV can power the living needs of its occupants and eliminates the reliance on propane and other fossil fuels. An ecosystem of all electric appliances, connected features, and modern amenities for a seamless camping experience. Production is expected to begin in late 2024. Another interesting design is the skinny guy campers I saw on one of the vehicles on display. Hi, hey guys, I'm Trevor with Earth Cruiser, and today I'm going to show you our new GMC Hummer EV Earth Cruiser. We've been working uh, closely with the GM design and engineering team to come up with the first upfit solution for the EV Hummer platform, and we're really proud to show, showcase it here at Overland Mountain West. To start, I'll show you some of the outside features. We have these storage capsules on the outside that pop up, and here you have a outdoor shower. You have a faucet connection here. This folds out to become your curtain. And then in these storage compartments we have right now uh, the shower faucet and then an extra space for your toiletries or other supplies. If you circle around here, we've got your water inlet and then a filtered water faucet on the outside. Moving around, over here we've got your Sure Power 30 amp plug, electrical kill switch, solar and 12 volt, 12 volt inputs. And then coming around the outs other side, we've got another storage capsule uh, with all of our recovery gear. And as you can see, we got a little bit of dampness in there from yesterday's monsoon weather here in Colorado. If you follow me up in, into the interior, up here we've got a induction cooktop over on the right with your sink. This is your indoor shower faucet and your sink faucet. So there's a shower curtain that deploys here and right below me is your shower pan with a drain pump. So you can shower off uh, inside the vehicle and outside of the vehicle. We've got a couple different storage compartments, trash, and more uh, cutlery storage down below. Here you'll see our C-Zone digital display for all of your electronic controls and, and power consumption uh, views. We've got some USB power, 110 outlet, and then up top here you've got a full-size RV bed with storage underneath. So if you look here, we can pop this up. You've got more storage here. We've got the table currently stored here that would slide and, and kind of sit right here to my left uh, if we had it deployed right now. There's also a pass-through uh, from the passenger front seat uh, up to the corner of the bed so you can get into the truck and into the camper without exiting. And then I'm sitting right now on top of our fridge freezer. So we've got an angle fridge freezer in here uh, to keep all your stuff cold. All of your electronic access is underneath this seat here. And then we've got a lot more cabinet storage on the wall here as well. As you can see, this truck has a great panoramic view. Uh, we've got a tri-layer uh, pop-up here, so you can have a clear screen, a mesh screen, or this insulated uh, material deployed to keep you nice and cozy and warm. There's also a heater inside as well, and a fire extinguisher, and a couple other you know storage compartments throughout for your uh, accoutrements, if you will. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's the interior of the GMC Hummer EV Earth Cruiser. If you have uh, any questions, you can hit us up at earthcruiser.com and find more information um, there as well. This is the Earth Roamer LTI and I'll go ahead and tell you that these run for a final price in the $775,000 to $840,000 range. This is top tier fancy overlanding with a giant 4x4 RV with massive wheels and storage for days. This will probably not work very well on the tight roads of most Mexican towns, but you will look sick driving this through Telluride, Colorado. Um, so this is our um, LTI model. 
This is a uh, one piece vacuum infused carbon fiber shell. You're going to have um, 43 inch Goodyear MPT tires. Um, our interior, we have six different floor plans, so this is our Breckenridge model. You have a dinette, breaks down into a bed. You have a sofa that also slides out into a bed, um, right up in the bunk area. You have your stairs that slide right out, so you can easily access your bunk. Um, we have a TV in the bunk area, as well as a secondary monitor um, on the side of the dinette, so you can use it uh, when you're working. So, quiet ride system. Um, it's one of the options, everything stays nice and snug in its own little place. We also have silverware shoe knives that are held in with magnets. So we do everything we can to avoid rattling. Uh, you've got your slide out pantry here. Uh, one of the floor plans without the dinette would have an additional bunk of pantries on the side so you gain some additional storage space. We have an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer and a microwave and convection oven. Uh, you have your wet bath. And then if you want to step on this sure. way, that way you can see the closet. Be really careful here. And so here you have a cedar lined closet. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> um, do have an outlet as well as central back, which are optional when you're having your truck built. A uh, full size mirror and one of the nice features about these is these two doors latch together, give you a little bit of privacy so you can reach your clothes while you're coming out of the shower. There's also an external shower on the outside of the truck with hot and cold water. Um, and then of course everybody's favorite, the wine rack. Um, glasses stay very tight until you slide this piece of wood out. Um, then you can slide your glasses out and then you also have your wine accessories that come with the truck. So some of the options you would choose when you're building one, you would pick your countertops, your backsplash, your flooring, your leather options, your stain color. Um, and there are a lot of different options on the website on the builder to uh, help you build the perfect vehicle for you. Yeah, and there is a, it's kind of hard to see because the closet's so messy. There is a Sonos Move down there, which is also part of the entertainment package. So that's its docking station. Oh, okay. This is a patent from Wolf Riggs. It is a military Humvee with an ambulance style camper in the rear. Pricing is at $350,000. You do get a remanufactured Humvee with a new Cummins 5.9 turbo that will get you 60 miles to the gallon. New or rebuilt, I'm not sure, uh, transmission transfer case and drive shafts and rebuilt front and rear diffs. Military issued front and rear springs with new shocks. I'm not sure how comfortable that ride is but I can say that the camper was super nice. I really like the build inside. <laughs> this is Ross Monster. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a truck and camper conversion company out of Colorado. The Baja model can be built for short bed and long bed trucks. The quality of these campers are top notch and the interior is very well thought out. Truck camper builds tend to range from $2,000 to $300,000, including the base vehicle. This was probably one of my favorite truck campers at the expo, the AT Overland Aterra XL Camper. It's an innovative lightweight fiber reinforced thermoplastic honeycomb composite camper design. The light filled Aterra has a smart and comfortable interior with living space with lots of convenient and practical storage solutions. The well equipped camper is suitable for all seasons and full time overlanding for two and a pet. 
the durable coated honeycomb composite and best in class appliances, windows, and accessories make the Aterra a thermally efficient mobile habitation system. The unique geometrical Aterra design yields a camper structure that is both strong and lightweight while able to withstand the rigors of endless washboard and the worst roads on the planet. Well built by AT Overland Equipment in Prescott, Arizona that has been designing and building the best overland vehicle solutions for over 20 years. The base price starts at $76,000. This is Global Expedition Vehicles. The way they work is that they build to your needs. You start by picking a truck, second is the camper model, then your camper layout, upgrades, and designing your interior. They do sell trucks ready to go with some of the trucks hitting about half a million dollars and then they have some cheaper models in the $300,000 range. This is the Adrenaline F550 Overland truck named Gazer. Price is at $450,000. 16,500 pounds loaded, 29 feet overall length with a 12 foot overall height. This is another one of those high end expedition vehicles with so many amenities. Hey everyone, it's Michael here with Odor Designs. We're showing off the Bruin Hardwall Camper. And so how our Hardwall Camper works is the only hybrid Hardwall Camper system on the market. We have aluminum composite tent walls, and then we have fabric corners that you can zip down to get a full mesh that pulls through. We offer a push-pull max air fan that you can pull air across yourself while you're sleeping. The sleep platform has about two and a half inch gap so you can get up and down in the middle of the night and not wake anyone up. It's a queen size mattress, four inches memory foam. You can leave all your bedding in place. So you just collapse it, ready to go. It takes about 10 seconds to pop up, 10 seconds to put down. One person standing on the tailgate can open it. We offer a lot of modularity. So basically we build the tents standard and then we fit them to your truck. And that allows you to have pop out walls, windows, um, you can have a back door that's a pop out. You can have a back door that are barn doors. Those barn doors are completely removable. You can have a front wall that folds down so that you can access your cab and clean your back window. And then um, we offer roof racks, solar panels, bug nets, insulation kits, molly, um, cubby panels, basically anything that you want for your system. We have awning mounts. Um, and then also we're working really closely with Viato Equipment and they do uh, full interior systems. Basically you start with the plate, 
and then you can build out it has extreme modularity you have a piece that goes over your wheel well and then you have modules at the back that can either be cubbies benches um, drawers they can open towards the tailgate towards the aisle however you want it to be we do fridge slides um, yeah just about anything you want we can build a system for it four to six week lead time on that and then it's also 15 percent off any the auto system with the purchase of an Aru camper yeah we're out of san diego we have an eight to twelve week lead time if you have any questions uh you can look us up at overdesignsusa.com or hit us up on instagram hi guys so my name is Mai, and i'm with far out camping company we're based out of vancouver canada and i'll give you a tour of our pop out camper so it's all um aluminum and so the way it works is these walls actually come up and they become the walls of your canopy so this way we designed it so that we can still have all our gear inside like we got bikes we just wheel two of them in here and we're still able to sleep and hold all our gear so we tried to really maximize the space that we had available um, it takes about a minute to set up per side so it's pretty quick and also to take it down um, weighs about 675 pounds and is compatible with all mid-size and long um, bed pickup trucks so you can find us at far out camping co on instagram or faroutcamping.com okay, so yeah you can sleep about two people on each one if you really like each other um, up here we've got like some from the outside you can see it's got a little bit of a wind yeah resistance kind of uh -huh. protector and actually on the inside we utilize that for extra storage okay so maybe i can show you guys like a further out angle sure. and then we can go inside okay and here we've got some struts so you can manage a lot of weight on each bed. And welcome inside. <laughs> so here we've got also um, screens so when you put the beds up, um, they kind of stay on the wall and they're velcro so they do come off, they're washable as well. Um, but when we have our gear in here, we like to put these down so it protects the beds and the bedding from all of your different gear inside that you store in here. Um, and also a privacy screen. When you're sleeping in there, these come down and you got your own little private room, um, windows that you can open and close for ventilation, and just extra storage space. So it's really everything that we need when we're out camping. Um, it's the perfect fit for us and we can still store all of our gear. We're just super excited because we made this because we realized we needed a solution for a way to camp overnight fit all our gear and we think we found it we just love to share it with everyone the tune m1 was one of my favorite truck wedge campers that i saw at the expo because of its sleek design 360 panoramic views and the fact that the camper is a bit wider on the sides making it able to sleep side to side in the camper obviously depending on your height the use of t-slot tracks all over the camper make it easy to customize the m1 it weighs at 360 pounds for the Tacomas and 450 pounds for the full-size trucks. Pricing starting at The Scout Campers is another favorite of mine with its minimalistic design. My favorite is a Tuk Tuk model that can fit in the back of a Ford Maverick, which I believe is the one that you're seeing in this video. The Tuk Tuk base model starts at $16,500, weight is only at 638 pounds. I would definitely choose one of these Scout Campers in the back of a new Tundra. Some more AT Overland campers like this wedge camper. And this other one, which I loved, it's got a huge access door to the inside of the camper. I mean, I would I would also go for something like this. 
Yeah, sure. This was one of the cleanest looking wedge style campers I came across with one very cool feature. But we're the only ones that uh, can lock with the key. So, tail the key. Uh, I didn't go on the boat because we had her. My wife and I chose not to. Um, but our group did. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah, thank you. What's the company? It's Explore Elevated. Nice. And where can we find you on, on the internet? Uh, ExploreElevated.com and all made here in the U.S. Salt Lake City, Utah. Nice. How's it going, guys? Uh, this is Kyle with Rapid Topper. Um, it's the first ever way to take off the entire camper set by yourself in about 10 minutes flat. Um, essentially, we've replaced the C-clamps that go in your truck. So not only do they hold it down really tight, but they also lift it up about five inches. So you're using a simple drill, not an impact, 14 millimeter drill, and you're able to go about an inch on every corner, down, up or down. The uh, logo itself is also the warning window to let you know when to stop raising. So once that's out of its sight, you can stop. Once those are all up, we don't have that here sadly, but we have a stand system that then goes underneath. Um, set it down, disconnect from the pin, fork slides off, you can drive away. Uh, we're online, rapidtopper.com, um, and currently open for pre-sales. We just started about a month ago, super stoked. Um, got a lot of good engagement, people are purchasing, and uh, solid feedback, we're doing good. This is the new Intrepid uh, Geo Solo. This is our one-man tent that's hopefully coming to the market early next year. Um, it's really aimed towards a lot of those hunters, fishermen of the world who might need to get out there solo, but keep space on their rack to uh, you know, store their gear, rifles, bows, anything like that. Um, we do have a patented design here with this hinge that gives you about 36% more living space. Additionally, the setup is still very simple at 30 to 60 seconds like most other clamshells in the market. Um, overall height when it is closed is down 7 inches as well. So a super low profile, super aerodynamic tent that will get you anywhere and give you a very comfortable living space. Uh, you can find us at intrepidcampgear.com or on Instagram at intrepidcampgear. Uh, those are two places right now that you can find the tents and the GO 2.5 is currently for sale and available for shipment within the United States. I'm sure you guys have seen the Go Fast Campers which started all the wedge camper craze that you see nowadays. They have made a ton of these campers and it's the most utilitarian and easy camper to buy. Another wedge style camper is a Super Pacific Campers and I also love this one for its very and nice quality build. And here we have another wedge style camper. This one's the Lone Peak Campers, which are advertised starting at $6,000, making it one of the cheapest options, but that's not including all the options they offer. Okay. I've looked at pretty much every version here, and everybody's got a little something different. Yeah. And every time I think I find it, I find another. <laughs> Overland campers with their very customizable campers. I've actually been following them on Instagram for a while and they give you basically a shell of a camper and let you decide how to build out your own interior. The Howard built camper has an electric pop top system that raises and lowers the top so you don't have to manually do it. 
I actually have a four wheel camper that has a similar design and can get a bit annoying having to pop up the roof. So this is pretty nice with an electric pop top system. I was very impressed with the Super Tramp camper's interior. It was very nice, modern, but also very homey. Also has electric motors that lift the roof, no latches, bungees, electrical linear actuators do the heavy lifting with the push of a button in only 10 seconds, starting at $60,000. Next up is Overland Explorer vehicles with another cool sliding camper. I've actually seen these a lot more on the internet, kind of replacing the four wheel campers. This is a really well built uh, camper. The only van I would ever want is this Quigley 4x4 Chevy van. Basically a modern Volkswagen Westphalia, but better. Okay, maybe I also want this uh, van from Mod Vans. I love Ford Transit vans, and this one is extra tall and really nice. If you're a thrill seeker, this van would be perfect for you and it's actually for sale. Outside Vans Slim Chance is listed for $308,000. Oh, really? Are you guys think you like the So, Stock models you're going to build are going to have this layout? No, okay. it won't be this layout. This would have to be a custom. I don't know that he's going to have a long line, which, you know, that's all right. <laughs> Probably about my long line. If Slim Chance is too expensive for you, you can check out Storyteller's Sprinter Van.
We got more sprinter vans. And last but not least, this Colorado camper van is a tower. I mean, a pop top on an already high top Ford Transit van. I mean, it's huge. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. And again, please check out my Mexico Overland film uh, link down below. Uh, I think you guys would really enjoy it. Follow me on Instagram at Overland Nomad, and we will see you on the next one.